for saying. I'm gonna grow a lot. Hi there. Thanks for joining me. I'm just taking on a little walk down to my uh, three garden bed plots that we use for home, for eating for ourselves and for um, seed crops. But yeah, uh, look, this is just an experimental garden as opposed to what I've got out the front in a different garden, which I'll show in another video. But yeah, two weeks ago I've re-established my beds for the spring here in Australia and I've got these four 30 foot long beds and I'm two weeks into planting some corn, some onions, some tomatoes and over in the distance I've got watermelons and rock melons and I've got another empty plot here ready for some rock melon. But the um, reason I'm showing you all these is just to, well for me, I'm documenting the beginning establishment of a market garden for our family for me to be self-employed I've just uh, resigned from another farming job growing meat chickens and that kind of got to me I'd rather be growing vegetables as you can see oh I love it so much anyway um, yeah here we go uh, it won't be moving around but it gives you a good area 360 view of what, <laughs> what I'm working with here Anyway, I'll just get a different angle going, we'll show you the corn. Okay, as I said, these uh, corn seedlings, uh, I don't think they are anymore. They're about two weeks old. Well, the ones up the, up the end of the shot are, but these ones closer are probably two and a half weeks. Gee, they're growing well. My problem here is, in all the beds at the moment, is the onion weed. Don't know if you can see it in there, it looks like grass. But I've been trying to dig it up with my little hand hoe. Uh, but corn plants I generally plant about 30 centimeters apart. I don't follow conventional ways but I do group them together. Uh, it's a big big plus for pollination and um, look over the years I've never had a bad crop. I can get three good sized cobs off these plants by doing it this way. Uh, yeah so there's my corn. It's a bicolor F1 sort of snow corn like a yellow and white kernel delicious super sweet that's one of our favorites anyway down to the onions these are your uh, average market brown onion conventionally i've planted them <laughs> 10 inches apart three rows a bit more spacing with these ones uh, i find um i want to grow some big onions this year let about a third of this crop go to seed so I've got ample seed for next year uh, same with the corn um, I'll be collecting and dealing with that so I can store it over the winter and yeah down oh yeah as you probably noticed I'll get up close on there look at that onion weed uh, if anyone knows how to deal with that without uh, without chemicals please let me know but I'm constantly pulling it out Looks like a little palm seed at the bottom. Sends off runners. Okay, tomatoes. Yeah, typical egg tomato. Got about, oh, I think, 14 plants there. Uh, so got them all staked. Got nice spacing in between them. Trying to keep the ventilation up to these as they are a seed crop and experimental. For us to eat as well. Just on what, if any blight kicks in, I can easily deal with it. And yeah, I plan on growing them big, so yeah, the more space the better, I guess. Over to the back there, nice big empty 30 foot long plot, ready for some rock melons, as we call them here in Australia. I've got a few watermelon seeds in too, ready to be put in there, but hang on a second, I'll be back. Ta-da! We just magically appeared at another garden bed, not far from the others. But we're walking past some rock melon, some honeydew melon, and coming up on on the left is in front here is the watermelons. These are the candy candy reds, I'm pretty sure they're called. They get nice and big. They are seeded, but that doesn't concern us. As I said, I want the seeds anyway, so that'll be handy. Uh, I've got a bit of space left there. I've got some more seedlings of some rock melon, watermelon. I'll fill that up, but. If you can see all around, it's plenty of space for them to, to grow. That's the general rule with watermelons and vine 
ground cover plants is you want to give them room. You need a lot of space. I've got to admit that. I've tried it in a house block before and it wasn't successful if you want to grow other things. But with watermelon jam, you need to water the base of the plant so it can naturally just spread. And um, if you can keep the nutrient and water up to the to the base or where you've planted it, it should be fine. It doesn't send down roots at each node like a pumpkin does. But yeah, that makes it easier. Anyway, just a quick look around at my um, experimental gardens for this video. And um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you all, I'm not going to really do how-to videos or anything. It's just a documented journey on, on me setting up a new lifestyle, a new venture, in the hopes I can make it successful. I haven't even got a name for this little business yet, but well, I'm just going to start selling the produce locally at the farmer's market. Uh, I've got oh, years and years of experience in hospitality and, and whatnot, so I just feel like I've got the right vibe to do this. I've got a few contacts. You'll get to know me over the videos. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, you know, I'm, I've got a bit of knowledge. <laughs> but uh, I, I just hope you enjoy the journey with me. Thanks. Bye.